Okay, this video will show you how to use the chart wizard uh, to create a column chart. So I've opened vega1.xls and I'm going to highlight from A5 all the way over to D9 and click the chart wizard button. I've got four steps here. I'll choose the first column, uh, the first chart type, which is the column chart. I'll choose the most generic clustered column because I'd like to compare the four products that this telescope company sells. The four telescopes, Bright Star 6 all the way down to Night Vision 16. I'll click Next and there's a preview of what we'll see uh, but that's really not what I want. What I want is I can see that the data is uh, organized in, in rows, right? right across Bright Star, Bright Star 6, Bright Star 8 and we've got column headers for the countries. So that's how I'd like the, the data to be displayed. So I'll select Rows and I'll hit Next give the chart a title and this is going to be telescope sales I won't label the x-axis and the y-axis that's not necessary a the x-axis is countries the y-axis is dollars I'll hit next and I'm going to insert this as a new sheet I'll call it telescope column chart I'll hit finish and you'll notice I've got a third chart here I'll just move it to the end now take a look at night vision 16 sales in the United States I'm gonna go back to the data and I'm gonna change night vision sales in the United States and let's just say someone made a mistake and forgot to enter a zero there now notice that as I jump back to the telescope column chart worksheet the the chart itself has changed so nothing needed to be done I didn't need to refresh anything this chart is dynamically linked the d to the data it came from. Now I can manipulate different parts of this chart by simply clicking on them and making changes. So I'm just increasing the font size of the title. I might stretch this menu up a little bit. Maybe make it bold. Uh, maybe not. Alright, so I can change other things as well. I can click once on the Bright Star 8 bar and I can go up here and click on bright yellow. So there are a lot of things you can do. Notice again that uh, we've got a chart menu. A lot of things can be changed through the, through the chart menu. Right click, format data series, right click, format plot area. So a lot of things can be changed after the fact. And that is your column chart.